hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how to uh, show pop up window inside your angular 14 application and display some data inside it so basically there is angular material kind of uh, library inside angular application so basically this is a demo of the application you can see here if i basically hit this button here this pop up uh, material dialog box will be appearing here you can uh, also show here full screen you can see this is the full screen dialog window and it contains some data inside it this is a list data it is showing here list item so this is the first list item second list item so it's an unordered list and there is also a button to close this uh, material pop-up window so basically if I close this window the window uh, goes away so this is a simple application we will be building in this tutorial where we will be showing this pop-up window inside angular 14 application so we will be making use of angular material library so you can see that so for this i have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website so you can see this is the material dialog box which contains some unordered list data so if you want to get all the source code you can go to the description of this live stream so step by step instruction is given so how to build this you can also position this uh, dialog box anywhere on the screen by using x and y coordinate so this is the application we will be building so let's start building it so let me delete all this source code and start from scratch So the very first thing you will do guys is you need to install this uh, dependency which is angular material let me delete this all this source code so after you make your angular project there is a command here which you need to execute i have given this command here in the description of the live stream so basically you will see here this is a command which is ng add at the rate angular slash material so basically just execute this command here and uh, this will ask some questions to you basically you need to choose a theme here I have choosed indigo pink here and then it will say set up global angular material typography style so for this you will say no so set up browser animation so you will say yes so now basically this will install the packages and all the packages are installed so after this you will go to your app.module.ts file and here you will just uh, import the dependency which is uh, one line you need to write here material dialog module so mat dialog module so basically this will be coming from angular slash material so here you just need to material slash dialog and then you need to add this inside your import array so you will say mat dialog module so this is the only thing that you need to do inside your app.module.ts file so just close this file and now you need to write inside app.component.html file so now to start your application just write ng surf so this will start the angular 14 application so right here guys we will have a simple button so the button will be simply open model window so basically whenever we click this button so this will be a mat button and so whenever we click this we will be opening a method which will be open temp dialog this is a method we will call so for the template of the dialog box we will have ng template so we will give it a reference to it so that we can target in typescript which is dialog ref and then we also need to show some data so here we will say let my data so this is the name of the data that we will be showing so inside this we will have h5 tag 
so we will simply give it a heading I am template dialog following list so here we will be showing unordered list so we will make use of this ngif directive my data so if this my data is set then only we will show li tag so here we will loop through by using ng4 so we will loop through let item of my data and we will uh, show this item here like this and also we will be having a simple button after this unordered list to close the pop-up window so basically mat button mat dialog close so basically the label will be simply closed so when you click this button the dialog box will be closed I am from dialog land So now if you see here there will be an error it is saying that open temp dialog doesn't is not defined so we need to define this function so just go to app.component.ts file so here you need to define this function so here inside this you will need to define this so open temp dialog so inside this function guys but before that we also need to get the reference so here we will use view child and here we will need to give the reference that we have given inside app.component.html file so if you check here we have given this reference which is uh, uh, this reference here dialog ref so we are simply copy pasting this reference here like this and then dialog ref and we will say template ref to any like this so this is imported here at the very top here you will see automatically so now we, we need to uh, just uh, have the list of data that will be displayed so this is a simple array so which will contain list of items So we will have four items here in this array which will be displayed in the dialog box. So then guys we will have with this constructor public dialog which will be of the type mat dialog. So if you see here it will be automatically imported here from this at the rate angular slash material slash dialog. So after this what we need to do is that we also need to write this implement on in it so this will implement this uh, template uh, sorry interface so inside this interface we need to initialize our from dialog so here we need to declare this at the very top these two variables from dialog this will be of the type string so here you need to uh, initialize this so this dot from dialog will be equal to like this so just initialize this so now we can simply open this so if you see here if I refresh here localhost 4200 so it is saying that open temp dialog let me see what is open temp dialog angular material open time dialog we have 
So when we click this button, you will see that we are calling this function which is open temp dialog. So let me just copy this once again. This can be writing mistake. So now you can see it is compiled successfully. So basically if you check here we have a simple got a simple button out there if I click it nothing happens because we haven't written this code. So we now need to show a dialog window material dialog window. So inside this we will make a variable my comp dialog. So here we will use this dot dialog dot open method and this dot dialog ref we will pass as a reference and the second parameter will be the data that needs to be shown so data will be coming here our list data which is this dot my full list you will see that this is the data that we need to show which contains four items and lastly what we need to do is that we need to after this we need to simply have the different kinds of events if I just refresh it now you will now see this pop-up window will appear this uh, dialog box this is a material dialog box which contains these four items first second third and fourth and there is also this close button if you close this the pop-up window closes so this is a simple dialog box that we have materialized in angular 14 with this open method and now basically you can play with this you can also make it full screen there is a different option out there what you can do after this put a comma and there is also a option to make it full screen so there is a option here which is panel class so here you can give it a class to it of uh, full screen so there is a class full screen dialog full screen dialog so now if you refresh it so we need to make slight changes here after this we need to also put a height of 100 view view height height of 100 vh and also Fit we need to initialize to hundred percent. So after doing this, guys, what we need to do is that we also need to go to app dot component dot css file, and here you need to give this style to it. Just uh, target this class which is full screen dialog, and make the max width property of hundred percent important. So now if you hit this, it will make full screen. So basically it will take entire width of the browser. So this is a full screen material dialog box which contains these four items and a close button. You can even increase the items. It totally depends upon you whether it is coming through an API like this. You can have as many items that you want to display. It is totally up to you now you can see that so it is that easy to make this material dialog box with data list data and also you can also place it by using coordinates so there is also a property of position and this position is an object which takes the left position you can specify the left position of 50 pixel and put a comma and the top position to 10 pixel similarly you can like this so now if you refresh it so basically it will move through in this position so you can have this 80 pixel so you can play with this parameters positioning you can place your models in different kinds of position by using you can also manipulate this 10 to 50 pixel this uh, left and the top position so if you're watching it for the very first time guys then please hit the like button subscribe the channel as well so in this way you can do it 
and also there are different kinds of events out there which is uh, there which is uh, after opened after the dialog box is opened this event will fire before it is closed and after it is closed so now to check these events in action just right click inspect element and go to console and whenever you click this open this you will see this event will fire so whenever you close it two events will fire before close and after close so this is a simple crash course on material dialog box in angular 14 guys how to display data inside them i have shown you from scratch so if you want to get all the source code go to the description of this live stream and i will be seeing you in the next live stream until then thank you very much